welcome back to Bloodborne. Name's Gibble Tiger, and I'm just gonna wander around, see what all I can do. Uh, do I have another weapon? I don't think so. Uh, oh, let's get back into it. In this video, I believe we're gonna be fighting both the first and the second boss. So, holy wait, la da da da, blood stone chunks. Huh. Da da da. All right, here we go. And you know, if you haven't noticed, I actually went a little further. I haven't fought the first boss yet, so nothing to worry about. And something to let you all know, I actually died after I got done recording the first time. So, yeah. Uh, I'd let you all read that in case you all are wondering if you want to read it. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go up, gonna fight this guy, got this guy in the stomach. There's a kin guy over here if you wander over here. Oh, he dropped something. Ooh, more blood vials. Alright, I am gonna try to sneak up on this guy. I'm gonna try. Here we go. Oh, what the hell? Why'd you turn around? Oh well. What killed me was the two werewolves that are behind me now. So, I more wanted the ogre than anything else. And of course, uh, uh, you die already. Ow! Stop hitting me. And you're finally dead. I hate when I try to stun people. And the crows are easy. Double check of what I got. Got nothing. Alright. The first boss. Let's hope I don't die. And you gotta practically be across the bridge just to activate him. Hello, cleric beast. Time for you. Ow! Alright, I'm gonna run away so I can get healed up a little bit. Alright, there we go. Now I'm ready to fight you. Yeah! That is doomed. Ow, that wasn't so epic. Here we go. Uh, okay, I got into a little corner, but he did, he couldn't hit me. Ow. And he grabbed me. That's the first time he's ever grabbed me. Oh man, that hurt. And it takes a while for you to get up. Get it now. I'm just gonna throw Molotov at you right now. Do a little extra damage. And of course it, it's a little easier when you start hitting him with Molotov because he will he's really vulnerable to fire. Oh, I stunned him. I'm gonna visual attack him. Do a lot of damage here. I'm just gonna just hit him as much as I can. Try not to get hit by him as much. And of course I get in the way of one of his blows. I'm gonna use my last Molotov. I still got him. Ha! Ooh! 
I'm gonna finish him off. You gotta finish him off, bro. No. No. Yeah. Ha. Finish him off. Ha. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna pick these up, these silver bullets. Activate this and I'm gonna go to the hunter's drink because there should be a certain something that should be standing now. Let's see. And there she is, everyone. The doll. And you actually, in fact, Wonderful only need hunter. one Pursue the echoes of, and I will um, channel them into your insight to you activate her. So that's and all you I need is one insight to activate her. Your you just pretty much Very well. talk to her until she says, oh, hey, I'll upgrade you. And I'll just put it all mostly in strength. And I'm going to take mine and go in one endurance, one in vitality. That Very should do well, me. And this little gift, yes. after I get done talking to her, are the beckoning bell and the silencer. Or, silent blank. But we're back! And this time I'm gonna go all the way to go to the second boss. I'm just gonna jump up here. I'm not gonna. There's a certain way I can go. But I'm gonna go this way. And what are you chasing me for? Huh? You would die. I'm just gonna jump. Oh, wait. This guy dropped something. What did he drop? Ooh, red bell. I'm gonna jump down here. Get this little thing that's down here. And start sprinting. And I'm gonna go open this little door. And if you didn't notice that little giant in the corner of the screen, then yeah. But this is the shortcut right here. Alright, the reason why I, I just don't feel like fighting the giant. Those little two giants or ogres, whatever you want to call them, right now. And this area is full of dogs in cages. And out of this area, only two dogs actually get out of the cages. That's the first dog. The first dog I killed out of the area was the second dog that gets out of the cage. And then there's actually a third dog around the corner over here. Dogs aren't really that hard. They're just a little bit of a pest to kill. And then you got this one dog right here. That's just, they'll activate an NPC. For some odd reason, my sneaking is not working anymore. I'll just randomly knock on here again, just see. None. This NBC is just looking for a safe place to go. But get this, everybody. We're going to go see a certain friend of ours. Of everybody. A certain one called Eileen the Crow. The Hunters of Hunters. But we're first going to get everything knocked down first. I'm going to actually do this. The only way you can get these items is if you knock them down and they'll end up in the middle area of this, of this little place. So, we'll get all those in a little bit. But, right now we're going to go talk to Eileen. And there she is. Hello, Eileen. I didn't want to read that. What a mess you've been caught up in. Her dialogue, she has a small dialogue and she just tells you to, here you go, here's some gifts, here's a new emote, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to kill her because she's hard to kill, so I'm just going to move on. And before I do that, I'm actually going to clear this area before I jump all the way down. So I'm going to jump down here, run up these stairs, and get this guy. Come on over here. Oh, bang. And the visual attack did not work that time. Eh, it's very...
touchy when it wants to do what it wants. Alright, then we got this little douchebag here. I'm gonna sneak up on him and why do you always turn around? Come on! Oh No you don't. No you don't. Hey, <laughs> you missed. You're dead. No sneaky sneaky attacks on me by you. Alright. One more guy up here and too weird. I'm just gonna There it goes! And that one shot killed him. Alright. Let's get moving. Let's come down here and get this first item, which I do believe. Well after I try to kill these. Ow. Die. Ooh, that was nice. I'm actually gonna grab these. Which would be the saw the saw spear. Pretty much a different version of the saw cleaver. And I'm just making sure there's no more rats. I'm just gonna destroy these barrels. Alright. That's pretty much it I can do over here. I can jump down here and I'm gonna go actually go get this one item over here. Before I climb all the way up, and he's wrapped. And Madman's knowledge, which in fact gives you insight when you need it. I'm gonna heal myself. Uh, just gonna look around here. Get nothing else. Yeah. Let's climb up here. Let's climb up here and kill these guys real quick. And all right, all right, there goes the visual attack. I got two guys who are shooting at me. Ow! One of them hits me. They don't. Aha! I got you and got you. Alright, here we go. Alright, a lot of people may not know this, but there's actually an item that you can get that will help you against the second boss. That's what I'm going to go get right now. This is a very long ladder. Alright, and over to the right, we have some crows. Die, crows. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, they're both attacking me at the same time. Alright, another madman's knowledge. Oh, yeah. Antidote? That's weird. Really early. But, alright. Sneaky sneak. It actually worked! The sneaky sneak worked! But the visceral did not! Oh well. Alright. Let's climb up here. And. Let's first. Let's first open the gate. Let's first open the gate. Another shortcut that we can get. But all we do is pretty much not talk that did that, but talk to a girl up here. She's looking for her mother. Yes, I will find her. Alright, and she gives you this tiny musical box. And of course she's still talking to you. Alright. We're gonna run all the way through here. I don't know. I missed an item over there, but I don't care. It's just off an enemy. Enemies drop something. Alright. Be careful this area. This is actually a big ambush if you went right after that one glowy little item you can get. And it pretty much just Get everything over here that will attack you. Yeah, you gotta be careful. These guys are a little. A little bit of a dick. Well, they are dicks. Ow. Oh. You know.
And that's everything. So this this little area. There's nothing over here. Mm, Alright, we're gonna start heading down this way. Alright, we're not gonna go up this ladder just yet. We're actually gonna go down this tunnel. Hey, there's a pig! A giant pig! Oh no! Oh, no. Ow! Good pig. That bit me. Ow! This pig is me! This pig is me! I thought you three I thought you were one of the three little piggies. But you weren't. You were mean. Alright, then I just got a new badge, the Saw Cleaver badge. Is that how I read it because I did that so fast. Alright, here's a little shortcut to get up here, because there's another bridge. But you all are gonna see something funny. It's very funny once you get up here. Cause I just found this out. This big guy's gonna light it up. This guy's gonna hit it and get hit me with like at one damage. And that was pretty much it for that guy. All right. And usually there's a band of group here, but because of that boulder on fire that came burning down this way, actually killed all of them. So you don't have to deal with them. Ooh, another blood vial and nothing. Alright, I'm actually going to activate the shortcut and go level up some, and I'll see you back. Welcome back! And I just equipped the saw spear, but I'm going to keep the cleaver because it's still higher level. Alright, I'm going to sneak and sneak. Hopefully it works. It does not work! God damn it! I killed one of them. Ow! Ow! That hit me! Yeah. Yeah! There we go. And there we go. He's dead. Alright. Ah. Jeez. Didn't expect that. Alright, I'm gonna check something. Heal. And I'm gonna equip. Mmm. Where is it? There it is. A tiny musical box. And everybody, this is the second boss. Father Gascoigne. He... He's tough if you don't understand the fight. But he's still... An awesome fight. That, uh, you about done chopping that guy up? Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them. Soon or later. Sure. All right, here we go. Oh. Already got a stun on him and a visual attack on him. All right, here we go. I'm gonna play this. Ow! And it stuns him. That's what the musical box does. Ow! It pretty much stuns him for, I believe, three times while he's like this. Another visual attack. Oh, what's that smell? What, what is that smell? I don't know what you're smelling. The sweet blood. Oh, you're smelling blood. It's enough to make a man sick. It stings to you. <laughs> uh oh. Next phase. Practically. He pretty much goes into long axe mode. Ah, uh, a little too late, but he can still pull out his gun! 
Ow! No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. Leave me alone. I'm gonna heal up. Or actually I'm gonna give myself some bullets. Because I'm running out. Ow! Ow! Gotta heal up. Gotta heal up. Gotta heal up. Oh. Dodge! Keep dodging him! Gonna play music box to... Uh oh. Ow! His final phase. Alright. Yeah! Alright. He's almost done. Oh, final strike! Yeah! And that was the fight, the second boss of Bloodborne. And I will have to see you all next time. See ya.